Hey, what's going down everybody? I was finally able to pick up a Nintendo Switch. Basically, me and my son were walking around in Best Buy and we were looking through the video games and stuff like that and I've been looking for a Switch for some time now. And I asked them at the counter and they were like, yeah, we got them in. So I picked one up. As you can see, it comes with, of course, the dock and the system with the Joy-Con controllers, just like every other Switch. And I think it's a pretty cool little system. You also get these, these um, they're like the top slider things for the, um, the Joy-Con so that you can play with the controllers separately when you pop them off. And in the back of the system, you have, it's like a stand, like a little stand that they have here which is a little tricky to actually open when you're trying to open it but once you get it open it basically has a little slot for the memory card so you would put the memory card in there if you have a um, sand disk or something like that if you want to make your memory go a little bit further and you would have the stand prop up like that once it's propped up you can take the little the joy cons off and then you can actually play the system in that position with the two joy cons so as you can see they're basically the opposite of each other one has a plus sign on it one has a minus sign if you turn it sideways that's how you can play like separate controllers and you would put the little piece on the top like that so that you would have your R1 and L1 buttons on the top. So they feel pretty sturdy. I mean, they, um, they're they basically plastic. They're not made of metal or anything like that, but they do feel pretty sturdy. But it also comes with the Joy-Con controller adapter. So you would take each Joy-Con which this is most likely information most people know. But you would take each Joy-Con and you would put them into the adapter. And then it would actually show that little green thing that's on the top is showing the power. So you can use that as if you don't want to use the Joy-Con separately. And that's pretty sturdy too. It makes it feel like a, like a real controller. And I'm thinking that little loop that's on the back is to add like a... Um, you know, like something to put around your wrist so you don't drop the controller. Because we all drop our controllers. And, I mean, that's, that's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple design. But, of course, it comes with the dock, which I showed you in the beginning, so that you can put the system inside the dock. And you can play with the Joy-Con and connect it to your television. Now, once it's connected to the TV, basically it's simultaneous, so it's seamless. As soon as you put it in, it connects directly to the television. Now, one other little thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that if you see these pl that plus sign, that means that that top piece goes on that particular controller. Because if you put it on the wrong one, it will be almost impossible to get it off. So make sure that that plus sign you see it that it's added to the one that it goes to and then the other one has a minus sign you don't want to mix those up because i know some people they want to put it on there pretty fast and want to just get to playing trust me you will have a world of pain because you will not be able to get it off even when you put it on the on the correct one it's still a little hard to get off but if you notice here see there is a minus sign on this one and that means that that one goes with that controller in that way. The other one goes with the other controller in the opposite way. Because both of them have plus and minus. They can go on either one, but they both have plus and minus. Those little buttons at the bottom, the left controller has the share, the picture button, and the right one has the uh, home button. And then you slip them back on. Once you have it back on, of course, you can play it handheld. There is uh, the power button and the volume rocker at the top. And this is actually how it looks when it's turned on. That's the home screen. I only have one game, 
so far, which is probably the game that everybody got when they first got the system, which is Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is really the reason most people even bought the system. Now, they give you this humongous case with this very, very small game cartridge. And that whole game is actually on that little small cartridge. So what you have here on the top is where you actually insert the game. So you open up this little rubber piece thing, which looks like, and I, I guess it's pretty sturdy, as long as you don't try to pull it off or anything. And then you put the game in just like a regular memory card. You let it snap in. And then that's about it. You go to the... Um, you go to the actual game and you would hit the button and the game pretty much starts and of course it's going to ask who the user is which that's me dpxgn if any of you guys are looking for me on playstation or nintendo or xbox or anything it's always the same so the game will load up with the little nintendo switch logo at the at the the um corner and then it has the nintendo logo at the other corner and basically you start playing your game so I played it a little bit already so it has a continue on there and I'm pretty happy so far with the with the uh, system I've played it on my television also and it looks great on the TV it's uh it upscales it to 1080p when it hits your TV on the system it's 720 but thanks everybody for watching and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video and I'll probably do a little review on how I like the switch down the line. So, you know, tune in for that and let me know in the comments if you guys have um, any Nintendo switches and if you have any caveats or anything about it. Or if you just like the system and waiting for some more games and things to come out. So please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.